Hi, and welcome to my VA today. We're at Mercure in Doncaster in Melbourne. So this, we've actually been privileged. We've got two rooms to show you today. So this is the King room. And if you walk in, just on your left-hand side, you'll see that there's a bathroom. So it's very modern. It's a very new hotel. So in the bathroom, there is a rain shower, which is always a favorite when we're away and the standard amenity. So you've got the nice gold brass looking bathroom. There's a walk-in robe, just sufficient to hang a few jackets. You've got the hair dry and iron as well. And then, oh, actually, guess what? It's a clear shower. So you could actually look straight through from there out to the room if you really want. And this is the king bed. So quite modern. And then there's a little table and the TV right there. You've got the views out through Doncaster. We're on level five. So overall, it's not bad. And then you've got the tea section in the drawer and then the little mini bar so you can put your drinks in. I don't think there's anything else here. Oh no, there is some more cabinet which they don't have anything in but it's a nice table and then the tea and coffee and the kettles there. So that's this King's room and we're gonna check out the double room. Let's go. So come on in. This is the room we're staying in for the week. It's two double beds. So right behind the door is the wardrobe. So pretty much the same as the other room. So very simple and standard. And then this time to your right is the bathroom. So we can see all the amenities are there. We've got four of us staying in this room, so the curtain's gonna be drawn in the shower for sure, because we're not going to be peeking. So as you can see, if you really wanted to, you could see through the shower. Okay, so there is a full size mirror that you could actually look at yourself to go out if you wish. And then there's the two double beds. And then we're also looking out the same direction. And then you've got the two table, the table and the chairs as well. So everything is very nicely color coordinated. So yes, yeah, so we've got the two double beds. It's very new, very modern. The colors look really nice and warm. And yes, it's a quite decent room, I think, for a two double bed, four people are staying here. And then we've also, again, this tabletop, you've got your coffee machine actually on top. And then it's the Nespresso pods. And then the standard, same drawers as the other room. And they're using Dilma. So part of staying in an Acor hotel, we do get welcome drinks, which we can just use downstairs at their coffee shop or bar later on. And we will show you more about what this hotel has to offer in a minute. So as welcome gifts from the hotel, we got given a chef made tea cake. And the chef was kind enough to actually give you the ingredient as well. So you can actually make it at home as well if we wanted to. It's an apple cake. It's an apple tea cake. So ingredients are there if we wanted to make more and that's a little uh, recipe. The kids actually, they've even written, there's a, the kids also get a welcome gift because they're special as well. So they got hot chocolates and then we've got a bottle of wine. So to Pauli for us as a welcome, to, um, welcome to the hotel. So we're gonna try the apple tea cake and we're gonna see how it all goes.
So for welcome drinks, it's always on your app now with the Acor Hotels and you can redeem it downstairs at the bar. And so I've got myself a lemon, lime and bitters. You can have a soft drink, you can have a house wine, so it could be red or white. And you could also have coffees. So never miss out on getting free drinks. Cheers. Yes, and you get a cookie if you do get a coffee. They give you a little cookie as well. So this is the gym and unfortunately my recording did not work so you just got to go with my uh, talk over. So over this side you do have boxing gloves and they actually have towels as well on this side as you walk in and then they've got lots of different weights for you to use and there's all these different equipments as well so I don't even know what they're called. There's your bikes. Looks like a rower, steps, treadmills, and then there's the extra weights, and there's a boxing punching bag. So overall, it's very light, it's nice and new, and I think you'll quite like it if you were using it, it's quite sufficient. So that's the gym if you are needing to use it at the McCure and Doncaster. So right outside of the gym, you need a card to go into the swimming pool. So you just walk straight in and it's actually quite nice. I think it's about a 10 meter pool and you can easily do laps here. The water wasn't too cold either because as I gave it a quick touch, it was quite nice. So it's quite warm and I think it's quite decent. So well lit and you can definitely enjoy a good swim. And there's also outdoor sitting if you wish to sit outside as well for some fresh air. So that's the swimming pool and the gym, part of the McCure Doncaster. They also have towels for you as well. And just outside of these doors, as you walk back out, oops, didn't know where my door was going. Let's try that again. Oh, see. <laughs> wrong side of the door i'm so clumsy sometimes you walk straight down there is a ramp for those who need to utilize that and not the stairs you've also got the toilets and there's also a water dispenser okay so we're at the mercure down Castor for breakfast this morning and they've got a buffet breakfast so included in it they have juices so there's orange apple cranberry pineapple mango and virgin bloody mary so they're just along here okay so we can always just pick one up from there so on this side you've got the cereal as you walked into so they've got all their standard cereals that you could get as long as some muesli as well and then they've got their milks so you do have your standard milks that they've got ready to go. Unfortunately, they're not clearly labelled, so not sure what's actually in them. I would presume it's just milk. Then there's some fresh fruit. So it's a beautiful day in Melbourne. And we're going to check out their counter here so this is a kids station so they've got the cocoa pops fantastically exciting for the kids and some pancakes and some muffins as well and then there's the bread so you can toast your bread and there's some pastries croissants and then over here you've got an alm a porridge and with the porridge, they've got endless choices of toppings. Then there's some scrambled eggs. They have bacon, sausages. And then they have got some potatoes. Smell out of the sumac or something with that. Oh. Paprika, I think, and grilled mushrooms. So, 
then they've got the gluten-free section. So it's gluten-free cereals, wheat bix cornflakes, some bread, and then they've actually got some hard-boiled eggs and a little bit of your salad, mixed greens. They've got chia pudding, and they've also got some yogurts and mixed fruit salad, and then you can also order your eggs. So breakfast kind of ticks all the boxes. So they do tick all the boxes. You've got the variety there for you, and you do have Acor Plus being accepted here as well. So you can actually get your buy one, get one free breakfast if you want to as well. So we'll give it a try and see how it is. So we're checking out of our hotel today and our stay at the McCure Doncaster in Melbourne has been quite pleasant. It is a very fresh new hotel. The room that we've got is a two double bed room. It is two double beds and it is just on slightly sufficient size. There's not enough room for you to just really move freely around but you get through it. I don't have anything that I was saying too negative about it. I think in regards to the bathroom, the glass with the shower probably isn't the most you know, useful design because most of us don't really need that to be exposed. And then the breakfast that we have every day, it's sufficient. It's not overwhelming, it does its job and there is enough room to sit around. Dinner, which we have tried, and if you wanna watch my video, have a look at it um, in, my, in the coming video and we'll show you that. That is actually highly recommended. It is worth going and eating at the restaurant if you're in the area as well and take advantage of your Acor Plus. The parking is very plentiful downstairs and they actually have electric charges too if you've got an electric car. So that's always very useful. Plus the bonus of being right across the road from Westfield, Doncaster is very convenient and getting onto the freeway is so fast. So overall, it's a beautiful stay. It's great to be here and if you are looking for a hotel just outside of the city, this is one that you might want to consider if you're down in Melbourne. Thanks for watching my review on Doncaster McCure in Melbourne and I'll see you at my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like my video and share it with your friends as well. Until next time, see you then. Bye.